Many times we face problem of limited number of pins on our Arduino Uno board, especially when we interface 16 by 2 LCD display with it. Again, 16 by 2 LCD has limitations of number of lines on which text can be displayed. So in this video, we are going to see how we can connect two 16 by 2 LCD displays to Arduino Uno with just seven digital I/O pins. So without wasting time, let's get started. So guys, actually I faced this problem in my last IoT project where I used 16 by 2 LCD display to show latest news on screen. So the project was awesome, but the small screen was really annoying. So I thought of adding another 16 by 2 LCD display, which leads to another problem that is number of digital IO pins. But if you understand the use of these pins, then you probably know that when enable pulse is given to display, the controllers behind the display takes action according to the signals to the other pins. Here is the key. What I did is I connected same pins to both displays except enable pin. So in total, we need 7 pins that is 4 data pins and a register select pin common to both displays and 2 separate enable pins. With this, I can control 2 LCD displays with just 7 digital I/O pins. With this in mind, let's dive into software part. Let's declare LCD1 object for first LCD which has pin 11 as enable pin and LCD2 for second one with pin number 10 as enable pin. So overall, programming standard remains same that is we can use same functions like lcd.clear, lcd.set cursor, lcd.print for both of the displays. So in void setup, I have written lcd1.print display1 and lcd2.print display2. Let's compile and upload this code to see the output. Here we can see both of the displays working properly. Now let's try scrolling text on both of the displays. Here I have declared a char star which contains text to be displayed. Let's initialize both displays in void setup. Update LCD display is the function which takes care of updating LCD display by one character. You can change this number to change speed of scrolling text. Now if you want to understand the algorithm used in this function, then you must check out my previous video of understanding scrolling display. Link is in upper right corner and in description as well. Overall logic is there are two separate for loops for each display. You can download this code with the link provided in the description. Now let's upload the code and check the output. With this, we can use two LCD for displaying more information to the user. You can use same technique to connect multiple displays, but in that case, use good power source for your project. So that's it for this video guys, hit like button if you like this video and share it with your friends if you found this helpful. And till then, I'm your host Vadakul Karani, signing off.